Do I have a haul for you guys? I have been shopping at Sephora. The Sephora sale is still going on. It'll be happening until Monday. And I asked you guys in a poll on my community tab, would you like to see a haul video, like a mega haul video? We expect nothing less from me, honestly, at this point. <laughs> or do you guys wanna see like a try on kind of thing? And by far the haul one, I know a lot of you guys still wanna see a try on. So I believe that will be coming as well. But for sure, I have my work cut out for me for some reviews because I definitely did some damage. <laughs> I bought a lot of stuff. I actually shopped in store for everything. It was like a couple different collective hauls. A few things I bought right before the sale because I wanted them to get here before I was on my trip to New Orleans. I went to New Orleans with creators and friends, which was so fun. And so I did some shopping there because the sale started while I was over there. And then I also was here in LA and did some shopping. And it was so fun actually being in store. It's a different vibe for sure, but there was a lot more in stock in a way than online. Stuff was selling out online so fast. I was like, I can't keep up. I literally can't keep up. So anyway, I need to stop rambling. Let's just get into it. I'll ramble as we go through it. I'm gonna start off with stuff that I am repurchasing. This took up a bit of my budget, just repurchases. It goes fast. The money goes fast. Even with that 20% off rouge, it goes fast. So I did re-up on the Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62 spray. This is their classic boom boom scent, pistachio and salted caramel. So good. I had a mini of this. I mean, I've had this scent in the past as well, but I have really been loving this. I've been wearing it every night night so I am glad to have the big bottle it's a classic summery scent super sweet it has that nutty pistachio smell to it so so good but I've always thought there's something tropical going on with this so I feel like it's a nice kind of gourmand for summertime so very happy with that I love the packaging as well it's a super easy one just to throw in your bag like your beach bag or whatever pool bag so very happy with that I did also pick up the Jisoo Gisu. Please tell me which one it is. I've heard both. So if you know the correct pronunciation, let me know. But the shampoo and conditioner from this brand are so good. I got a little sample in an advent calendar, went through them and my hair just felt so bouncy and shiny. I have fine thin hair. I'm gonna try not to repeat myself too much because if you watch my Sephora sale video, you're like, girl, we've already seen this. We already know, but I will keep it short. I have fine thin hair and it just gets weighed down really easily. So I tend to stay away from things that are too hydrating or, you know, this is honey infused hair wash that kind of freaks me out like oh no it's gonna be so greasy but this just gave my hair bounce and shine and I just add a little dry shampoo when I get a little greasy and I really loved that my hair didn't feel too dry or too fried or like hay like and stiff and kind of gross so I've been loving this so glad to have it in my life it was an unexpected winner for me I was not expecting to love this shampoo and conditioner that much but I'm glad to have it back. I did decide to pick up the Belief Eye Cream. I told you guys this is one of my favorites, but I'm a little nervous. I've used it today and it worked out okay. It is a little thinner in texture than I remember actually putting it on, but this is a gel cream eye cream that is super moisturizing. That's what I want in an eye cream. I just want a nice base to put product on, a nice moisturizing barrier for when I'm sleeping, all of that. But the thing is this has been reformulated, so I will have to keep trying this to see See if I feel like it's different, if it's working for me and all that. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous about this, which already getting off of free purchases and kind of rambling. I did, this was not an expected purchase. I was just perusing in New Orleans. Everyone in the store was so nice. And I decided to try this do, I think is how you say it. Oracle reviving eye gel. I, again, like a gel cream, a gel eye product is definitely what I feel like I look for and I believe they just started carrying dew at Sephora so I wanted to give it a try. I also wanted to try out one of their face moisturizers but I just got the eye cream for now. I've used this a few times and I really like the texture of it but I'm not gonna like today I woke up and I had a little red dot like right under my eye. I'm like <sighs> I hope it's not this. So I'm gonna keep trying it. I've tried that Glossier one, the Full Orbit I think it is, and I felt like that was maybe a little too heavy, even though I really love the texture of it. And I am trying out also the Summer Fridays one that's new, that's like their jet lag mask, but for the under eye. So I'm trying a lot of things. I will keep you guys updated on what's actually working for me. You hear that? If you breathe in and you itch your nose at the same time, that's what it sounds like. But there's something about this packaging. I just thought it was cute. It kind of looks like a refill, like an insert of something, but it's not. It's like the real packaging. So again, I will keep you updated with all those eye creams. I'm keeping these little under eyes hydrated. I've definitely been kind of focusing on that area. Some days it looks flawless. Some days my under eyes 
it's just aging. I can tell the under eyes are aging. Skincare really just takes so much time to figure out and I've been traveling, I've been stressed, so I wanna give things a fair shot. Another repurchase. You guys knew I wanted to get the Super Goop Glow Screen. This is the sunrise shade. This is my favorite. This is so great for summer and all that. It is a perfect tinted glowy sunscreen and I really need to be keeping up with sunscreen. I am better than I've ever been and I feel like this helps me feel put together and also have that sun protection on my face. So very excited for that. There is a new sunscreen from In Beauty Project that feels similar to this and I'm kind of interested in trying it. Let me know if you guys have tried that. I mean, this is my second bottle of this. So obviously I really like the Super Goop, but I really love the texture of their shimmery kind of face cream. It does make me a little oily throughout the day, but I really wonder if that's been translated into a sunscreen and I'm very curious. If you've tried it, let me know. That one's definitely caught my eye, but this should cover me for summer, pool days, walks, all that type of stuff. That's what I use this for. Another repurchase. I did it. I bought the airbrush, a flawless setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. I've been loving a setting spray, you guys. I really feel like it helps lock in my makeup and just give me that extra bit of longevity that really does count. You know what I mean? This doesn't have a smell to it, which is nice because I feel like the Urban Decay ones kind of smell nasty. This doesn't really have a smell at all. Um, and it doesn't feel like hairspray on but I do feel like it helps me stay a little less oily throughout the day especially too when I layer it like if I do this kind of on a bare face and then once I put powder on put this on after I've really enjoyed it I had a small size of this one as well from an advent calendar that I used up pretty fast so I'm excited to have this they even have this in the jumbo size I decided not to go with that one just because I know by way of reviewing stuff all that like you know, there might be other things. So I just went with the normal size, but I am happy to have that back. I'm telling you my empties right now is overflowing. Uh, that's probably gonna be like a two hour video. Another setting spray though, that kind of got me, this is part of those, you know the line when you're in line. I'm telling you, normally I don't get caught up with this type of stuff because I'm just ordering online. But in store, you know, you're waiting in line, you're looking around and I saw this from one size. It's the Waterproof On Till Dawn Mattifying Setting Spray. Because I'm so into the Charlotte Tilbury, I was like, okay, waterproof for summer. That sounds pretty good. I kind of just want to see how this is. I feel like I've seen a lot of hype around this online too where people are doing like what feels like our outrageous <laughs> dads they're jumping into pools they're splashing their face with water i don't know they're doing a lot you know doing the most with this and trying to like prove that it works so i don't know it's a small size i was like okay let's do the little mini let's try it out see if this is just as good because i really feel like these settings sprays are doing a lot for me i feel like this is me just proving yes i did buy the repurchases i wanted to i promise i'll get into exciting stuff in a second the Kosas bronzer though I was in desperate need brought this to New Orleans with me look at that you got <laughs> pan pan for sure on this it's like a dunzo so I was in desperate need for a new one I went through that in like about a year one of my favorite bronzers it's glowy it's baked it's just easy like if I'm doing easy effortless makeup this is going on my face for sure but that's not the only bronzer I picked up I decided to try this Too Faced one they came out with some cream bronzer sticks it was between this one and the Cecil one I think is how you say it and when I was looking online I was like unsure of if I liked the the color swatches and I don't know if that one was available in store so when I saw this in store at the Too Faced counter I was like okay let me try it and I've tried this two times now first off so creamy this is one of the creamiest bronzer sticks truly like it's kind of like the LYS one in terms of the creaminess like it glides on okay it smells like chocolate like they <laughs> get the chocolate going with this one. And so there's that, that might be a turnoff, but I also know that's also something people love from the Too Faced line. So it is chocolate. It's almost like a chocolate pudding scent, honestly on your face but I really do like the color of this it's not too orange or too warm so this is the lightest shade and for a more sculpted bronzed look I've actually really been enjoying this it blends out really nice so far so I'm gonna keep obviously testing it but so far so good with this I'm actually 
really happy with this purchase so far. And I don't know if I wasn't in store if I would have picked it up, but I was like, you know what, let's go for it. And so happy that I did. I think it's gonna be a really good color for summer with me getting a little bit more tan and also just is a more sculpted look, which is kind of nice and so easy to blend. I feel like so many skin tints and stick foundations and just foundations in general are coming out lately. And I have definitely enjoyed trying new ones out and seeing how I like them. So I got two different ones. The newest one, like this launched, I wanna say with the sale starting from Urban Decay. This is the Faced Bond Foundation. I got the shade three. It's the foundation I'm wearing today. And it's my first time wearing it today. You just pop the cap off and it has like a squeeze tube. The shade three felt almost a little light. Like I think it'll work for a little bit, but I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know. When I was trying to pick these colors, I was trying to think of my summer self because I didn't want to get something that's going to only match me for the next couple of weeks. But so far with this one, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It does dry down almost to kind of like a mattified or like a skin finish. It's definitely not glowy. It's supposed to be like 24 hours. You're supposed to shake it well. I'm going to have to keep you updated on this one. I have hopes that potentially I can get it to work with a little bit more time trying different and, you know moisturizers and things like that but it didn't convince me or wow me initially so we'll see if this one competes with the Ilia stick foundation that's been my favorite new try so far the other one I got was the Anastasia one I had someone ask me about this and I'm not gonna lie I was intrigued because this is called the beauty balm and I ended up getting shade number four which is a little dark for me at the moment, but again, I think this will be a good shade for me later on in the summer. And it still works because this thing is so sheer. And let me tell you, if you're an oily girl, I just don't think this is for you, okay? This isn't for you. This is super moisturizing, super emollient, like to the extent that I'm like, it's surprising it's keeping its stick shape, to be honest. Like it is that moisturizing. Um, the coverage is very light on this one, so you're gonna want a very natural coverage. These are still kind first impressions i've used it twice so far but it is just creamy guys okay creamy i felt like it kind of slipped off my face a little bit and it's not one you want to build up because then you're just getting a lot more product but the coverage still isn't there so um i don't know if it's going to be right for me but maybe if you have dry skin or you really need that moisture it could be a good stick foundation it definitely doesn't tug and in comparison to the ilia one that one is definitely way more firm and just not as moisturizing as this this one is like a new level, a new level unlocked in this. One of the things I was most excited for in the sale are the new blushes from Rare Beauty. I did buy three of them, but you guys, really exciting news. I did get a PR package from Rare, so I have all of them. So I'm hoping to swatch all those maybe in a short or something coming up. But the ones that I bought myself, I have Happy here. This is what I'm wearing today. Really, really love these so far. And I didn't know if I would because, you know, they're shimmery, they are shiny, and I was, <laughs> Purpose that they were gonna just show a lot of texture, which I will say, I think there's a way that you could overdo these. So I would use a light brush. That's what I've been doing, a very light application. And I kind of build them up as I go. They for sure have some shine on them. Um, the other shade I got is Cheer. And then I also did get Joy, which I haven't opened up yet. It's kind of a corally color. I've been enjoying Happy the most. Cheer is good. It's just not as pigmented. So I feel like if you want to get that pigment, you have to build it up, which just adds a very high shine. So Happy has a nice amount of shine with the shimmer to it. But I I think these are nice. I love a baked product and you know, I was not the biggest fan of the highlighters to be honest. Like it's just so hard to make them not look metallic. Oh my, I just doesn't matter how much I use or not. They're so metallic. And I was scared these are going to be like blush versions of that, but I really feel like there's something about them that although sure a little texture comes through, I don't feel like it's magnifying it in any way that's like terrifying. You know what I mean? So I've really been enjoying these so far. I'm excited to try the other shades, see how those ones do for me. But so far, Happy has been my favorite. Really, really like it. This haul has a lot of repeat purchases. Also in the fact of getting the same product, different shades. Like I already know I'm into the formula. So let me try some other colors. And these blushes from House Labs kept calling to me. So I did end up picking up Dragon Fruit Days, which is that hot pink. I just was like, oh, I gotta know you guys know I did that hot pink blush 
blush video and I just feel like I've completely succumbed to the hot pink, okay? Like there's something about it, very juicy, very life-giving, and specifically this hot pink isn't as dusty as some of those other pastel looking ones. So I'm excited to give that a try. And then I also wanted to get the French Rosette color, which is one of the more neutral shades that they have. It's a matte formula blush. I don't know, these were just calling my name. I for sure wanted the dragon fruit one and I was like, but I kind of want a neutral one too. So I will keep you updated with these colors because you know, sometimes the initial color that you pick up is the one you love, okay? <laughs> is the one you actually love. And maybe you'll pick up another shade and you'll love it just as much or it'll be that perfect thing to switch off from. But I have some other things I bought in different shades and you know, sometimes you have the shade you already know you love. And that segues us into these Hourglass Shadow Sticks. I raved about these because I really love, specifically Prism. I brought Prism and Equinox to New Orleans with me and I think I wore Prism every single day. Like this thing is so pretty, like the perfect eyeshadow color for me. I love putting this on and then just topping it with whatever I wanna do, keeping it really simple. So love these. The formula is really nice, very high end. I feel like and very like luxe feeling. They have a shimmer without being sparkly. So I feel like they just look flattering on my lids while still giving me a little bit of like lift and brightness from that reflection. But it's not too much, it's not thick. It doesn't dry down in a very like chunky kind of way. I just think they look really elegant. So I went a little berserk. I bought three new shades. I decided to pick up Moon, which I've used twice now. And I think Moon is pretty. It's like a champagne kind of color. And so it's easy to top over and all of that, but I just feel like Prism is the one I would go for. So this one is like as much as, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it works. You know, I didn't need that one. And I'm just saying, unless you're into the champagnes, just get Prism, okay. <laughs> I also got Solstice, which I'm excited to wear this one for summer because of the bronze color. It's almost like a peachy bronze, whereas Equinox from them, is a little bit more of a darker, almost more cool toned bronze to it. So I think this will have a nice amount of warmth. I'm excited for that one. And then I've also worn Galaxy. I bought these ones in New Orleans. So I've already worn Galaxy and I do really like this. It's a plummy color, but when you shear this out, which I like to do, like put it on and really blend it out, I feel like the color really dies away and it has this dimension to it that's really beautiful. And it's kind of special looking, I think. So I'm happy with two out of the three that moon one I just am like it's nice but not mind-blowing I think there are other champagnes I maybe would like better so anyway just thought I would update you on those but this formula in general so good and then my favorite shade prism I just it's a perfect everyday shade for me all right continuing on you guys <laughs> we're still going I was so excited for this Fenty drop the highlighters these are called the demi glow highlighters and these are baked I'm telling you I'm so excited to see so many baked products coming on the market I just love those types of formulas. I find them so beautiful, easy to use. They can have sparkle. They can have a nice satin sheen to them. And these I actually didn't shop in store. I bought these online. I was scared they were going to sell out. Maybe that's just me because I love... <laughs> Highlighter, but I did pick up two different shades because I didn't know the swatch pictures online looked a little dark Actually, I was like, I don't even know if the one or two is gonna work for me So I decided to just get one and two I figured you guys would probably have a similar thing looking at them like okay Which ones would work? So I thought it would be helpful to see both of them But this is number one pretty pearls. This one is Prosecco and I have been using the number one and it's not too dark for me Number two also I think is gonna work for me fine, especially with a light hand. And these were kind of touted as their more like natural highlighter, I feel like. They're more like low key compared to their other highlighters in their line. But I just have to say, <laughs> the first time I used this, I used it on the trip and I was like, what the hell? I just like highlighted this shit out of my cheekbone, okay? It was so shiny, so luminous, like really shiny, like a baked gelée shine to it, okay? So if you're looking for subtle, I don't know if these are subtle, but the formula is beautiful and I do prefer this formula, I feel like, to the other one. That one just is more powdery and I feel like you can really buff this on to the skin to get a really beautiful sheen. They remind me of kind of even more shiny Bobbi Brown highlighters. You guys know the ones I really like that are again baked that's what they give beautiful beautiful like truly and they have some really pretty colors i don't know i am very excited to keep playing with these but they are a little bit more intense than i was even expecting so again if you're looking for like <laughs> more subtle highlighters i don't know if this is it even though they kind of said that's what it is oh my gosh i'm like does my makeup look okay i kind of look i am chill today okay we really are kicking it old school chilling by my bed <laughs> just hauling some makeup letting you know what i bought during 
<laughs> so. I did re-up on a few glosses. I let you guys know I really wanted to get a new Patrick Ta gloss. This is the major volume, I want to say, lip gloss. It's not like lip plumping, but it does have a minty taste to it. So this is in the shade She's Expensive. I actually was able to get this in store. I think it's getting close. I don't know. I feel like these glosses are going to be discontinued for some reason. There's just more glosses that have come out, but I love this thing, okay? It's one of the prettiest, shiny, shimmery glosses. I'll put in a clip here because I opened this and I was like, it looks so good. So I'm happy to have a new one. The old one I had was just getting, it was getting rough, you know what I mean? And I have so many lip products. So for me to need to get rid of a lip product because it's getting old and actually want to repurchase that product, I feel like it's kind of significant. So I got the shade She's Expensive again, but I also took the opportunity because they had it in store. I was like, let me try is she younger than me? So this one has like a peachy pink duochrome kind of look to it. Lots of glitter and shimmer as well. I'm excited to try that one, but this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing it with just a lip liner. So good. Okay. It's just like one of my easiest go-to lip combos. And the lip liner is Wherever Walnut from Makeup Forever. You guys know. I love that one. The other gloss that I picked up is from Fenty. This is one of their heat glosses. So this is plumping. It really does give you a plump to your lips. It kind of burns a little. And it's in the shade Hot Cherry beautiful popsicle red. I loved the little mini that I had. And again, that one was just getting on its last legs, getting kind of disgusting, needed to go, but I didn't want to totally be without it. So I added that one in full size. The sample made me freaking buy it. Okay. The Ula Henriksen lip balms got me. I just decided to get all of them. This is one of my favorite lip balm formulas in the tubes. I just think it's so good. So I did get the strawberry sorbet. Love this so much. This actually bought right before the trip so i didn't get this during the sale i was like i'm gonna get the strawberry one love it used it like my whole trip i feel like i'm already seeing a little bit of a dip in it because i was using it that much this just feels so plush they feel so plush and i really like the smell of the strawberry one the cocoa one kind of is a weird smell but strawberry is good and then the other one this is just like the original i want to say i don't know if that's what they're touting it as but this one is kind of like a creamsicle which is really nice it's like orange but kind of vanilla-esque so i'm loving both both of these I just think this formula is so good and again I feel like it's a little underrated like they really did something with this I hope they do some more shades some more flavors they're very 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 good I think this is the last lip product I know I'm like who am I but I have been loving lip products and this one was one that got me in store I don't know if I would have just bought this if I was shopping online but in store I was like what even is this like I didn't even know Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with this it's the pillow talk big lip plump gasm okay Lip plumpers are in, you guys. Look at this, the packaging is pretty intense. I have not tried this on my lips yet, so I will be getting to that. It doesn't, you know, it's just kind of sweet. Nothing remarkable, but also nothing off-putting in smell, which is great, because you guys know I'm kind of sensitive to that. But the packaging, <laughs> It's very interesting. Um, I will keep you guys updated on that. Maybe for my try on, we'll put that one on together because I'm like, what is going on with that? And I asked an associate because this was not out, um, like there were no products, but there were a lot of products actually underneath or like in the drawers. And I'm usually not one to ask, like, you know, I don't want to be a bother, you know, and I have been the person where they're like, can you check the back? And you're like, there's nothing in the back. There's nothing in the back, you know, like we put it out. I don't know. I don't want to assume that stuff isn't out, but I was so glad they had this and a couple other products so you know just be nice and ask if they have any products underneath because they might actually and i got lucky quite a few times with that and everyone at all the stores was so nice i felt like everyone was so kind i naturally of course got more blush products i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with the blushes and the lip products like those are the things i'm rotating a little bit more actually and i'm doing the same eye looks and even my base i'm like going multiple multiple days doing the same thing even if i'm testing a bunch of stuff but blushes and lip products is where i'm switching it up so i love the lys like highlighting blush that came out the shimmery one in cheeky i want to say is the one i got that i decided to try another color so this one is in bubbly these are super soft cream blushes that have like a metallic look to them which i know sounds so freaking scary like girl what are you talking about but i'm telling you i put a little bit on the back of my hand i'll use my brush to kind of evenly coat my brush and also not overload my brush with product you don't want to do that and i feel like they look so good so bubbly is a little bit more of like a pink color the other one i have is like a bronzed peach and i think it is 
beautiful. It looks so good. So I'm excited to get this one on my cheeks too because I have been loving the hot pink. I think this will look so good. This, maybe I'll even add some of that Rare Beauty because why not layer shiny blush with shiny blush? But I love that one enough to try another color. Another one that in store is what got me. Like I would not have ordered these online. I don't think, I really don't. The swatch in store really sold me. The other blush product I have here from Dior. I asked you guys if you wanted to see this and a couple of you guys were like, yeah, try that out. So this is a part of the Forever Glow stuff that they came out with. They have like a skin filter one that's like a base product, but then these are kind of like however you wanna use them. You can use them as blushes, you could use them as highlighters, whatever. And this one's in the shade Rosy. And you know, I think it's pretty. And if you do a very like, natural kind of look. You don't want too blushy of a look. I think it's going to be really, really pretty on the cheeks, a really beautiful glow, but it's a little bit more sheer. So if you like that, if you like to have a little bit more control over your blushes, I think this is going to look really pretty. I've only used it once, so I need to keep trying it and getting my thoughts on it and using it with products I love, but very, very beautiful formula so far. I just don't know if it's going to be my perfect one because it's a little liquidy. Like when I I dotted it on I was like okay that felt like a lot of product that I really need to sheer out to get to the kind of layer I want on my skin but then it also sheared out the color kind of a lot so I just need to play with that I think there's some good potential in it still and again I think if you like a more subtle blush look it's going to be best for that but I'll keep you guys updated on this one. And then I think I have like three more things to show you. So I was so excited. I went in store and I was so happy to see the Pat McGrath Lab Baby Pink Blurring Under Eye Powder in stock because I was like excited for this. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get that. But it went out of stock so fast online. So I was stoked that they had it. This is a very silky smooth powder. Like I'm telling you, so silky smooth. And I'm curious to keep trying this. I tried it today under my under eye, but I also was trying a new concealer. So, you know, it's like, it's a lot going on. But I usually don't set my under eye. I really don't like setting it. I just feel like that area, the least amount of product that I can put there, honestly, always looks the best like it's true I just feel like you know things collect it's just you know it's a delicate situation under there and I find less is more most of the time but this seemed so silky and smooth that I was hoping it could give me some brightness it could also set some of those concealers and maybe give me the tiniest bit it doesn't have coverage but you know kind of a coverage look in the way that powder can uh, you know obviously dull shine and can just look more even and that type of thing so I'm gonna keep you updated with that. Um, even though it's pressed, I tend to like a loose powder too. This one I'm telling you, so silky smooth and I was so excited. Cause I felt like baby pink out of all the colors would be best for me, so. Uh. Keep you updated. All this is keep you updated, keep you updated. I realized I do have another product to talk about. This one I got right before the sale from Say. Their Slip Tint Concealer. I've used it twice, not convinced so far personally. I know a lot of people are loving it. Not convinced so far. It's just a little dewy and hydrating, which makes sense for say, like to be honest, like their brand, I wanna love it, but it's similar to Kosa's and some of these other brands where I'm like, I don't know if they make products for like oily girls a lot of the time, you know? Like they make a lot of products, I feel like for people who want moisture and want dew and maybe need those things for their skin. And I'm worried that this concealer is gonna be a little too hydrating, but again, I'll keep you updated, keep you posted on how I'm liking this roundup video for sure to come. Like we need a major roundup. Okay, last two things. I know you're probably like, girl, where where are the eyeshadows? Like you didn't get any eyeshadows, which I did get the eyeshadow sticks, but I did decide to try two eyeshadow palettes out, but it just was not my main focus. Like I wish more brands had some singles. You guys know I'm into a little single potted eyeshadow or again, the creams, but I did go with this Dior backstage palette. This is the Smoky Essentials palette and it's really pretty. In person, it's a little more smoky and dark than I felt like I saw online. I'm wearing this shade here, which I think is called Called light sand and I really love it it's kind of a weird color it's almost like a golden bronze but there's something kind of green to it so it's not yellowy you know but it's also not cool toned and it's like a satin formula I've just been obsessed with satins which I think is just so funny like I want to laugh at myself because I really could have told you back in the day like the most boring formula of eyeshadow is a satin and now I'm like oh my gosh they're so elegant they're so beautiful I'm just like really into satins right now. So I just think it adds a really beautiful shine. I'm wearing it over that moon 
Hourglass shadow stick today. That being said, I don't know if this is worth it. The Dior Backstage line, like as much as this is pretty, I don't know if it's worth it or if the quads are worth it more. Or are they quince? I don't have any of those from them though, the quince slash quads. I do have the single eyeshadow and I feel like, you know, it's just a little bit of a better formula to be honest. I can just tell this is kind of a diffusion line, not only in packaging, but Anyway, it's not bad. This could creep up. I could be saying all this right now and then later be like, bitch, this is my favorite. I love it so much. Like it could become that and it also could become something kind of forgettable. So I'm not sure about that. And then the other one, this one I threw in last minute. I was like, I don't need that. I don't need that. But I figured because I've been loving the cool tones that you guys would too. And I figured some of you guys would want to know about this, especially because it's a smaller palette. Again, cool tone. Can I open it? <laughs> Can we get it open? All right, it's from Too Faced. It's the Born This Way Cold Smolder Nudes Mini Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know the last time I bought an eyeshadow palette from Too Faced. And this is what it looks like. Some really pretty, cool, kind of smoky tones in there. So I'm excited. It's half shimmer, half matte. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it right now. The shimmers seem a little thick, kind of thick. So it'll be interesting to see how those actually play on my eyes and like actually look because I do like, again, that baked formula, which the Dior is more of. Like it has a thinness to it that I really think looks nice on my lids, but I'll keep you updated with that. I do like the color story. It seems like a really useful little palette, but I'm not sure formula. We'll see. Oh my gosh, I was gonna be like, and can you guys believe it? We're done, but we're not. Okay, this will be the last thing I actually talk about in this video. This got me last minute when I was shopping yesterday in store and I wasn't gonna do it because I really wanted the shade Rise. These are those hour glass glossy volumizing balms and you guys know I got the shade sense and I was like I'm not convinced like I don't know I know a lot of people like these but I'm not sure I do and a lot of you were like get a different color that must not be the color like just don't don't judge all of them from that so I was like you're right I was looking online and I think rise is going to be the one every single Sephora store I've been in which has been way too many in the last five days <laughs> Every single Sephora store is out of the shade Rise of all the shades. So I think that still might be the one, but this duo, I remember this duo coming out and the store I was in had it. And I was like, it feels like a sign and it's way cheaper. Cause these are like $38 a piece. They are such expensive lip products. And this set retailed for 55 plus I got the discount. Oh, did you hear that? That was absolutely. <gasps> horrific, horrific. Okay, the shades I got, this is Haze. Let's see, Haze already is looking, I think better. I think there's something about that sense color. I know that that many people can't be wrong. You know what I mean? I know these are well loved for a reason and oh yeah, I can already tell that's Haze way, way, way better than Sense so far. Like a little more sheer. And then the other color is Crave, which is a little bit more pink. Let me see, I'll get a swatch for you. Ooh, okay, even this color, I'm, okay. I'm really hopeful, you guys. So we have Haze and Crave, and I will keep you updated if these redeem the freaking glossy volumizing lip balms, whatever these are from Hourglass. They're so, <laughs> these things are crazy expensive, but I will say, they have a weight to them that I do appreciate in this packaging. I'm not gonna lie. Even though it's kind of simple, we've seen it, there's something about that's kind of nice. So that truly concludes my haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed just hanging out. I know it was kind of chill and a little bit of a different style. I'm gonna try to put some inserts in though so you can see swatches, but I really just wanted to do a true haul video, just kind of chill out with you guys. I'm still kind of getting back from Creators and Friends in New Orleans. I stayed a little bit later with Sam, so we got to explore the city a little bit more and I'm just kind of getting back into it. But I'd love to know what you guys have picked up from the sale if you're shopping. I know this haul is like massive and like I said a million times I have my work cut out for me and reviewing this stuff but I'm excited to let you know what's worth it I feel like a good half of it I'm very excited about and there's this other part that's like mm, I don't know <laughs> I don't know if some of these are gonna work out for me so fingers crossed there's not too many regrets but let me know what you picked up let me know any of your thoughts on this stuff if you've tried it out if you have some reviews let me know but other than that I'll see you in my next video bye